All right, we're back. Season four, episode ten. I needed the shades. I just needed a. I needed a squint break. That's all right. Yeah. Um, okay. So I want to talk about something uh, that I'd never heard of before I interact with you, and I like to think that I'm pretty well read in the energy space. But there's one word. Excuse me. It's two words that I kept hearing as we were interacting with you at yeah. the beginning, and it was integrative design. Yep. And I was like, this is really fascinating. And so I know um, you could probably talk on this for what, an hour, maybe yep. two, and we yeah, could yeah. have like a macro vlog cast on this someday. But <laughs> Six we're, minutes. We're going to keep it micro. Uh, <laughs> g give me the like one, two minute thing on like, how does, how does um, integrative design work? And like, what's the, what's the philosophy? Yeah. So the integrative design approach really emerged out of a need to do something different, right? And I think we've talked about like the age of multiple crises, right? And the fact mm -hmm. that the current way that we've designed build buildings historically is kind of came to a, a, a crisis point. And that was really like, not now, it's sure. been several decades yeah. now. But um, the the need to do things differently is what the integrative design process is all about. And yeah. and so really what you do is you 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 identify how different you need to be, right? Okay. As early as you can. Yep. Um, you then say, okay, we kind of have this idea of what we want to be. How do we need to get there? And you create a roadmap. And that includes mm. um, both from a professional skills perspective, right? What are the yeah. skills that we, they're missing? So if we're doing something different, I think it follows that you may need other folks Absolutely. to, to kind yeah. of come in and help. This isn't core. Right. Um, and you know, it kind of follows the philosophy of those, those who know the problem best are probably the most kind of insightful of yep. how to solve the problem. Absolutely. Um, so it really encourages participation from a broad perspective. We call them stakeholders, project stakeholders. Yeah. Uh, invites them in to be a part of the, the discovery process and also then kind of invites them to kind of imagine ways that we could do things differently together. So it's really a co-creative, I like to call it a democratic approach. Mm. Um, and it really invites multiple perspectives, but then also has this opportunity to hold the team accountable to a different set of standards. And that's, sure. I think, what we're all about. Like, we, we recognize that we need a different set of building, a different kind of building. Yeah. Um, so getting at how to do that and do that well is what the integrative design process is all about. Wow, that is interesting, and that's like a that's a new thing. I, I think we're gonna explore this in the next episode. I got some things I want to talk about, but again, this unfortunately is the micro vlog cast. So until next time, if you want to learn a little bit more about what the benefits are of the integrative design, tune in next week. We'll talk to you then. What, what episode number are we on? Oh yeah, real? you guys can't see. We're on episode ten. A smiley. Oh, episode. smiley ten. I love 10. the smiley ten. So great. Okay, season four, episode ten. Runaway, I got it. Oh. Runaway stuff.